Hey everybody, welcome back to my part, part 2 video of Kedar Sanctuary's deck profile videos. Um, for this second video, we're doing Hex Orb Sorceress. And this is inspired by Yamato of Team Blackout, of course. And I have to say, people may not like the new um, Hex Orb kind of look to it, but I, I kind of like it, you know. It, it feels more, more art type based rather than um, just you know, random shit kind of thing you're supposed to not want to think. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, with that being said, there's not really much for me to say about this deck itself other than the fact that it reminds me of Oracle Think Tank back in the day where Amate Rasu was the biggest unit for me and it still hits home for me. That's kind of why I keep it. Okay, so now with that being said, let's just hop right into the deck itself, starting with the right deck. And of course, it wouldn't be a Oracle kind of deck without the Oracle Think Tank sleeves because I don't have um, the other sleeves with it, but there you go. So we got, for grade zero, Tri Connect Sorceress. We got Tear Square Sorceress. For grade one, grade two we got Pentagleam Sorceress, and then we finally got the Hexorb Sorceress as our main boss. So that right there is just the standard build, you know, for me personally. Now for the main deck, very standard for me. I know it gets kind of boring seeing like all standard kind of builds, but for me, it's just for me to keep track and learn how to deck better as well so it's not 100% bad okay so we got circulating sorceress for our heals white fang witch dizma for our critical blade feather dragon for our fourth critical eighth criticals we got Elpeg for our fronts and of course amartina for our over trigger. So, this is standard to build. Sorry, guys, that was not meant to be called for. <laughs> but, anyways, that was the grade zero lineup. Uh, grade one lineup has a little bit more uh, variety to, because. You know, I think with secondary decks, they have more variety than them than the other ones did. Okay, so for our grade ones, we're playing the new one we have, Magic of Revelation, Tartress. Tartress is a new skill uh, unit, and her skill is when this unit is placed on rear guard, if your vanguard, if you have a, if your grade, if your vanguard is grade three or greater. Catablast 1, search your deck for up to one Hex Sorb Sorceress, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So you can literally find another Hex Orb, Hex Orb and put it in your hand for Persona Rides. So that's what she's mainly in there for, is to search out your Hex Orbs and help you get those kind of things. Then we got three copies of Di... Diaglas uh, Sorceress. And this one is in set 2, so there's not much to say about her last time. Next, we got Magic of Starry Skies Mar Marlena. Or Mar Marna. I was say Marlena for some reason, but that's her right here. Um, her skill is. When this unit is placed on rear guard, discard a hex to orb sorceress from your hand. Choose a hex orb sorceress on your vanguard rear guard, and it gets 10k power and 10 a turn. So you discard a, a chance of persona ride ability next turn for um, gain additional 10k power. So hopefully you can get another hex orb just to get a persona ride ability or whatnot.
And then finally we got Esh's Mirror Dragon for our complete guards. So, that's just pretty much, that's kind of it right there, you know. Ooh. <sighs> mm. Sorry, if you guys think I don't, if I don't think I'm, I don't want you guys to think I'm not very enthusiastic by this because I am happy I'm finally doing these deck profiles for you guys and it did take me a little while to get finding these units who are all gray and, you know, better for the deck and better for the concept. It's just my health hasn't been quite good lately, so I've been trying to think as positive as I can and not think over too barely about it. All right. For grade twos, we're only playing, I think, eight grade twos in this deck. And our newest one number is Magic of Objective Kakarong. Kakarong. A.K.A. Karong. Uh, Karong's ability is when this unit is placed on rear guard, if your vanguard is Hexa Orb Sorceress or Pentagleam Sorceress, Soul Blast 1. Look at the top two cards of your deck and put them in your top of your deck or and put them on top of your deck in any order. Rear guard or Guardian Circle ability is if your vanguard is Hexa Orb, this unit gets 2k power and 5k to the shield. So... Basically, she's not 100% a bad card, but she's still, you know, probably not what everybody kind of wants, but still a good choice. And finally, we're playing four copies of Exquisite Knights All Wing. Just again, more ser more searching for your top cards in your, de your deck kind of thing, so a little bit of Gold Paladin kind of feel to it as well. So, there's that. Ooh. Little dust. There you go. Okay, and then the final for grade threes, of course, you can never have a hex orb sorceress deck without the main, the HBIC herself, the head bitch in charge. Next, we got three copies of heavily sent great ma magic Mil Momo. And Mil Momo is the newest one member as well. And her skill is when your drive check reveals a trigger unit. If your Vanguard is Hexa Orb, Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets 5k power in the turn. Very basic, but not too bad. So, there you go. Then we're playing two, uh, two copies of the normal order, Wish for Tomorrow. And what this card will do, will give you an access. Um, play, with, play this with a Counter Blast 1. And soul blast one and reveal a critical or a front trigger from your hand okay if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater you draw a card and put the top and put a card the card revealed from this cost on the top of your deck so when you have a critical trigger or a front trigger in your hand already you all you gotta do is reveal it put it back on top of your deck and that's that's it pretty much you know All right, but yeah, that is the conclusion deck profile update video for Hexa Orb. Oh, let me just uh, put this all right here, nice and easy. There we go. And yeah, that is the conclusion of the part two Hex Counter Sanctuary deck profiles video. And I hope you guys did enjoy this version of Hexa Orb. I know I've been, I know there's other variants that you can probably choose from, but I like this one better. Um, there are other options I can go go behind, go back and check out too. Um, just right now, we don't have the set four stuff. stuff set, blah, blah, the set four collection. <laughs> it wouldn't be my, wouldn't be in my videos if I didn't make a little bit of blooper here and there. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is the update video for Hexa Orb. I hope you guys did enjoy this video very much. So, if you guys if you guys like it, leave a like or comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, and as always. If you're out and about, make good choices, be safe, and don't catch COVID, please, and all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.